Howdy howdy, this is Mr. Potter. In today's video we're going to talk about the Scratch Studio. The whole idea behind studios is it's a place where multiple people can put together projects and share their projects with their own fellow group or with the world. So I'm actually going to go to a different website than before. So I've got this scratch.mit.edu slash studios slash 460431. So I'm actually going to copy this address and I'm going to paste it in my web browser and we're going to go to this Scratch Studio. And what this does is this shows us a lot of different students what they've done in Scratch. And so I'm going to choose one of these. It looks like I've got a, a music thing here. Let's see what this says. So we're going to go ahead and click on it. And then here's our project. Notice it tells us that we need to click on the little green flag to tell people to go. Let's see what happens. So I'm going to click on it see what happens. Interesting. So we've got a nice little musical pattern. We've got different colored cats. Lots of interesting stuff here. So if I want to, I can see how they did the code. I can see inside. So if I click this, I can see what's happening here. So it says whenever the flag is clicked, we're going to repeat something two times. We're going to have the, each one of these sprites moving 10 steps and playing the notes. Notice we have notes 60, 62, 64, and then they glide back to their original position. Then we have two more steps, and then they glide back to an original position, and then the steps. If I click on a different sprite, then I notice that they have a different set of actions. And if I click on this cat, I notice that I'm going to see a different set of actions as well. So each of these sprites has a different set of actions that all get triggered when the flag is clicked. Interesting. Now notice that the pink cat repeats twice, notice that the blue cat repeats three times, and notice that the yellow cat only repeats once. So that's why that yellow cat stopped while the other two cats continued. This is interesting. And what's really nice is that we have this button here called Remix. So what I can do is I can save a copy of this project and tweak it. So if I want to change the notes that are played, or if I want to change properties about these cats, I wonder if I could right click and in Info and I can get some information about this cat. Interesting. I can change its direction. I can change its rotation. Lots of nice things that I can do here. So this is one of the things that we can do. So I'm going to go back to the page we were just on. This is the one that showed the, uh, the thing in action. Going back to the studio, though, I can see that there's lots of other things that people have made. So let's see. I've got this uh, Hello Mommy and Dad. Let's see what this says. So it says it wants us to click the flag. We're going to click the flag. Hello, Mommy and Daddy. And the cat's walking off the screen. Interesting. So we're going to go ahead and stop that. And we can look inside. And we can see what they've got here. It says repeat 10 times. We're going to move 10 steps. He's turning left and right, shading and doing the pin size, and saying hello, Mommy and Daddy. So this is a place where we can put stuff. This is a place where other people can put stuff and we can actually make productive comments on them. So we're going to go back to where we were. And so it's a nice collection of stuff. There's lots of different things we can see. What's this, the red button? Let's see. Keep clicking the button, clicking it forever. So I'm going to hit the flag. It says don't click it. So let's see if I click it. up please don't click me hey what did I say stop stop fine I don't care just keep clicking Ugh. try now you're good at this too good ha think I'm done still going um, interesting and so I can stop this and I can look inside notice that it's got a whole bunch of clips here it says that if the flag is clipped then change it to a brick wall and it's got a collection of messages notice this thing 
keeps going off the screen. So if I scroll down, I'm going to see all the different things that it's supposed to say. It's changing position, it's changing location, but it's also keeping track of something called clicks. It says if clicks is equal to 25, do this. If clicks is equal to 26, do this. If clicks is equal to 27, do this. So this is with, you know, just playing with a lot of these blocks, which I encouraged you to do in the last video. We can create rather interactive games. Now, one other thing that I want to do is I'm going to go back to our, our board and we're going to advance to the next page because we've set up an O'Connor Studio. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this address and then we're going to go to our web browser and we're going to type in our address. So here is the O'Connor Studio. Notice it's rather empty. No one's got anything in here. I'll be the first one to put something in the studio. So I'm going to go back to my little file here. This file is my stuff. And I had this that we made in our last video, this untitled. I'm going to go ahead and click on this. Remember, what we did in this video is that we had our nice little sound. The bell says, oh no, I'm late for class. And then what's supposed to march. So we need to fix that. That is not working right at all. I need to make sure that I move to the right position first. So here's our editor. This is where we were editing stuff. I should have a script. So let's switch to the Mr. Pata. This is our script. So what I really need to do is make sure that he gets moved down here, which is, what is it? Negative uh, 238.22. So we're going to start at negative 238.22, or negative 22 see if this works the way we want it to. Oop, I'm a little off the screen. Let's stop. Let's make this number not so big, like maybe a negative 192. You know, experimenting is the best way to do stuff. So here I am. Oh no, I'm late for class. And then I go back. Interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and move him back to his original position, and I'm going to change this. So the title, instead of saying Untitled 2, which is boring, is going to say, I'm so late. So this is our project called Mr. Pato's I'm so late. I'm going to go ahead and save it. And then I'm going to go back to my file over here which has the I'm so late, and I want to share this project. So I'm going to go back to I'm so late and make sure that we add this to our uh, project here. So the instructions, notice it tells us the instructions here. We're just supposed to click on the flag. So what I want to do is I want to add it to our studio. Remember that I had the link copied, so let's go ahead and paste it back here. And I'm going to go ahead and click on Add Projects. And I want to add a project from my, my recent, let's see, can I do my recent ones? Those are the ones I watched. I've got my favorites. I've got my shared. I'm going to need to put something down here. Uh, I can also just add by the URL. So let's get the URL of the project that we just did. This is the I'm so late project. And so I'm actually going to copy this URL and go back to Untitled Studio add projects and paste it in and so now we should have a project in our studio so let's refresh this nope still not adding it I wonder if it's because I haven't shared this project yet I really need to share this project in order to get it because it said it was an unshared project let's click on share so now that I'm shared I can put stuff here and just talk about different things. So now I'm wondering if when I go to our studio, am I going to see it? So let's go to our studio. Let's add. And we have the shared project. I'm so late. I'm going to click on the add. And now it's part of our studio. So the idea here is that I can take this O'Connor High School Studio and we can all add to this. So now any of us from O'Connor 
can add projects to this gallery. And so what I'd like you to do is take the project that you created last time with your experimentation and add it to our O'Connor High School Studio. Okay, have fun. We had, a lot of, we had a lot of fun experimenting. We had a lot of fun playing around with this. I encourage you to go ahead and add your project that you made last time to our studio. So once again, this is Mr. Potter. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.